what is up guys so today we're going to be doing an unboxing video i have a bunch of parts here i mean well i say a bunch it's a bunch for me um i have a lot of the parts we need to get the 240 road ready um we're still missing a few parts and i got a few little odds and ends that weren't totally necessary but i want it anyway so we got uh, about four or five boxes here to unbox and we're gonna get to it This one, uh, this is a set of the brake pads. This is from Rock Auto. Um, Rock Auto does something really cool, and I'm sure a lot of you probably have ordered from Rock Auto, so you probably already know. They, uh, I guess you enter your, um, a picture of your car when it's done into Rock Auto, and they make a magnet out of it. So, like, yeah, if it'll focus. There we go. So this is a magnet that came with these brakes. Now, I'm not sure if these are the front or the rear brakes. I don't remember. Um, I think the back arm leaves were the fronts. Um, yeah, so, you got these. And I mean, they don't, I don't know why they ship the front or these pads separate. But the bottom box down here, the big box, is uh, the rest of the stuff. Except for, except for my brake master. So, my brake master, I, uh, <laughs> I clicked the wrong thing and ordered... A rebuild service instead of the uh, actual part so I'm waiting on them to refund my money so I can actually order a, a um, master cylinder so this is the next one and I've already opened it but uh, I ordered some eBay solid mounts now the main reason I ordered this was just for the transmission mount um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use the uh, hockey puck mounts or not uh, I know I had them on one of my other 240s a while back, like, I don't know, eight, nine years ago. And these things are very, very violent. They make the whole car rattle. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use these or not. I still have good OEM mounts up front. I just didn't have a transmission mount. So this comes with a, uh, a poly. Well, it says poly, but it sounds pretty hard. It's a solid transmission mount. And that's what I needed was that, that transmission mount. Um comes with the uh, this is also from eBay I think it's like $35 and it comes with all the hardware so we're good on hardware we're good on the mounts um, regardless of whether I use the uh, front hockey puck mounts or the factory mounts we have our transmission mount and that's the main thing um, and if anything ever happens we have the hockey puck mounts to throw in there until we can get some decent mounts I'll probably end up if the when the stock mounts go, I'll probably end up ordering some Nismo mounts. Um, so we're gonna get to the next one. So you already seen I got my master, my clutch master cylinder in the car. That come from Injuku Racing. Um, my clutch line was on back order, so uh, I was waiting on that, and I still haven't gotten my slave cylinder yet. Um, that's not a big deal. The main thing I needed was the. Uh, clutch master and the auto to manual line so I got the ISR stainless braided line um, I've heard good nothing but good things about these lines so let's hope I was gonna buy one off my buddy but this one just happened to come in the mail the day that I was supposed to buy it so we got that I mean it feels I mean it feels nice and sturdy it feels like you would expect a stainless brake or a stainless line to feel like next up so I had one of these in my 350Z for a while, and the one I had in my Z was black. And uh, I want, it's a shift knob. I don't have a shift knob for my, well I didn't have a shift knob for my 240SX. So j just in the meantime, I, uh, I want to get a Yashio factory um, shift knob, just because I like the way they look, and it's just cool to have something from Yashio factory. Uh, but until then, we got this. It's uh, eBay Nismo shift knob. I mean, it's not bad quality. They'll last a while, and I mean, they got to be a poly. They got a decent amount of weight to them, and you know. This next package. This is important. It's a big part of the five-speed swap. It's also eBay, but I've used this before in my 350Z as well, and it held up very well. It's the clutch, clutch and flywheel I use the exact same XTD clutch and flywheel in my 350z which will make a lot more or which made a lot more power stock than this KA is going to make and it held up fine I, I mean I threw it in 
and drove it a thousand miles to Florida. Drove it while I was there and a thousand miles back to Virginia. And it held up fine. Then I put another thirty thousand miles on it after I you know got back from Florida. So never give me any issues. The only issue I will say I had with this was when I first installed it, the uh, pilot bearing or pilot bushing um, shattered into a million pieces trying to get it in. The, the pilot bearings aren't great, but the clutch itself, the pressure plate, the flywheels, all that's fine. Now, obviously there's better. This is still eBay, but for what I'm going for right now, this is overkill. So we're going to go ahead and open it up. Take a good look at it. See what see what we think, and y'all can leave me some comments in the uh, comment section. And, you know, try not to be too hateful. I know there's a lot of guys who can afford a lot more than me, who can buy exit E and spec and all that right off jump. I am not in a position to do that right now. So this gets the job done. Make the content for you guys, and hopefully, this will help get the 240 going sooner rather than later. This first, this one actually, this is my first time opening it, so I want to get a good look at how they packaged it. All right, so far so good. It's packaged in a bunch of bubble wrap. Look at that. A layer of bubble wrap. There's nothing in that. Nice little foam pad in here. Oh, it's wrapped up in this. Okay. Um. Well, what is that? It's packaged pretty well. Oh, that's my flywheel. Okay. Yeah. So this is the flywheel. And, uh, wow, this is packaged really well for eBay. <laughs> you know, a lot of things you gotta look out for on, like, stuff like this is, like, burrs and, uh, stuff like that. But, I mean, this, honestly, looks pretty good. It's gonna be a nice, lightweight flywheel. Um, there's no burrs or anything on the, uh, teeth. So, yeah, it's pretty... Not in bad shape. There we go. Now that's open. Even comes with a little XTD installation guide. Tells you, you know, a lot of diagnos diagnostic information. Um, installation guide. So it gives you like a little rundown um, of how to remove it, check it, and install it. And let's see. Here's my clutch disc. Good looking. Definitely uh, stepped their game up a little bit since the last time I ordered. And I mean, the one in the Z was nice, but this one definitely looks a lot nicer. It's packaged a lot better. All right. Now. My pressure plate and it looks like a throttle bearing. And the pressure plate, honestly, this one's got a little bit of surface rust on it. It probably sat on the shelf for a while, but nothing too bad. Nothing that's going to hurt anything. You know, overall, it's all right. This big box isn't the last package. This is. And this actually just came not that long ago. It uh, came maybe 20 minutes ago. Surikawa. A heart shaped Surikawa. It's the first. Uh, first mod for the style that I'm going for um, there will be there will be stickers there will be anime stickers there will be slap stickers there will be all kinds of stickers I love stickers um I just I've always loved stickers I took them off the Z and then I instantly regretted it so the back windows and the back catch glass of the 240 eventually will be stickered like a lot but yeah so i'm super stoked on this i love surrey cows i think they're great i think they're awesome um i think what they you know what they originally stood for even though they're a novelty now was pretty cool i mean not you know not the the gangs and stuff like that but just basically a way to say f you to the police i thought that's pretty cool um so and don't don't take this as me hating police i you know i got friends that are police officers i just Rebellion is cool, you know. Anyway, stoked on this. Now the last box. The last box is Rock Auto. 
and I'm just going to point the camera down at the box and open it this way. It was it'd be a lot easier than me trying to uh, show y'all and hold or open it and hold the camera at the same time. So this is a Rock Auto box, and I know exactly what's in here. So there are all four of my brake rotors and my other set of brake pads. So we're just gonna. Oh no, we didn't cut. go Bill's laden well just on initial opening it seems to be packaged pretty well they got this uh, bubble wrap you know everybody loves doing that anyways um, I got a bunch of this paper, this great big box for very little stuff. <laughs> we got another magnet. I actually like this one a lot. This one is what looks like a 59, yeah, a 59 Chevy. It's pretty cool. Owner's name is Don, and apparently it's built with Rock Auto parts. So, we'll get a quick glimpse at that. Pretty cool. I like these magnets. It's a cool little touch. All my parts now are in the box. I gotta get the Brake Master Cylinder, because it's definitely shot. Um, the dude I got the car from is getting the fuel rail, injectors, throttle body, and something else um for me so we gotta get that but yeah so that's the unboxing and stuff to the side anyways thanks for watching as always like subscribe leave a comment let me know what you think of the build so far let me know what you think about the parts i'm ordering i know a lot of it's ebay but you know i'm trying to get it running i'm not trying to make it perfect right now we can worry about the minor details and the, you know, little stuff later. So, for now, I'm just doing what I can to get it running. So, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.